Hey everybody, I am super pumped to share with you a brand new app that we have in the app portal called Jamboard. It's by Google. Uh, when you open Jamboard the first time, you will be directed to log in with your school email and password. And then it will bring you to a page that looks like this. And this is kind of the main menu or the landing page. On the left up at the top, there's a pancake stack menu that you can use to switch accounts or manage your account. Um, you'll have the My Jams area, and then nearby boards is referring to an actual physical board that you can connect to with this app, but we probably won't be using that. Um, the last part here is where you start your new jam. So that's down in the bottom of the right screen. And if I press that plus sign, I can either join a jam using a link or I can create a new jam. So I'm gonna create a new jam. And basically what it's opening is a whiteboard. And it doesn't look very special, but there's lots of tools that are really cool here to use, including collaboration tools. So the way this works here is I can add pages to my jam by pressing the arrows at the top, and then I can navigate through those pages. Um, the little board icon on the right top of the screen is to try to find a live or real jam board, which we don't have access to right now. And then the three dots on the right are um, where you can rename your jam. So I might just call this test jam. Okay. Or you could also do things like add people if you have permissions to do that. Or you can share your jam as a PDF. Or you could share the frame, which is the page that we're on, as an image. So let's just go over the first basic tools that are here inside of the jam. And the first one is the pencil or the pen icon, and you can um, change the color by tapping on the black dot, and then you can see what the pen does. So the first one is just a regular pen, then we have more of a marker, highlighter, an artistic style paintbrush. Um, the next one is amazing. It's the um, A, so if I tap on that, that is actually gonna do handwriting recognition and convert my handwriting to text. So if I write a word, it will convert it to text and it also recognizes my cursive, which is really messy and so that makes that super impressive. Um, another tool under this area is the shape recognition where you can draw shapes and it will recognize those shapes as the shape that you're trying to draw. And the last one I love, this is called auto draw. So if I touch this, this is actually gonna recognize your sketches as drawings. So if I'm gonna draw a tree, for example, it will recognize that I'm trying to draw a tree and then it'll give me all different kinds of options for trees that I might wanna use. Um, there's a lot of potential here for maybe sketch notes or something like that. The next tool is, um, of course, the eraser. You can erase your um, handwritten things. If you need to erase a like shape or an auto draw, you would have to do a long press and hold it, and then the trash can pops up and you would just drag it off the screen. Um, we already talked about the color changer. Um, this next one is a selector, and what this is gonna let you do is it's gonna like let you select a group of things, and then once they're selected, you can move them around. You can select something and pinch it to make those thing objects bigger, so that's kind of a handy little tool. Um, and then the last little tool on this first page is for post-its, and this is where you can just type your text. Um, if you press return, it'll open up a new one, and you can change the color of your post-it by pressing on the yellow area and changing the color there. Now to maneuver around in here. If you long press and hold that, you can drag and drop it in places and you can resize. So I'm just long pressing and holding to reorganize my ideas. And that's basically how you can use the basic features of the Jamboard.